everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Bonnie and this is Happy Space Creates. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top five McCall's patterns for this autumn. Thank you so much for coming back and joining me today. I have got my top five favourite patterns to share with you. These are all from McCall's, um, which are one of my favourite top four um, pattern companies, and they have got a huge sale on at the moment. So I'm going to be sharing with you my top five patterns for you to sew this autumn and winter. I've tried to choose quite a variety of patterns, so depending on your style, there should be something for you. But like I said, all of these patterns are on sale right now. They are available on Minerva.com and they are linked in the description box down below so that if any of them take your eye you can head over there and get them for yourself so that I can see all your fantastic versions that you're going to make this autumn. Now I've got mine on order already, mine are on their way from Minerva and I haven't actually sewn any of these patterns just yet but hopefully you'll see some of my versions coming your way soon. But for now these are just my favourite style tips. Um, heading to you so that you can choose which ones you think are the best. So let me know in the comments box down below which ones are your favourite or if you've made any um, choices already, if you've got some of these patterns at home, if you've made them, do let me know how your versions come out and what you love about those patterns. Um, so shall we get started with your top five? So first up we have McCall's 8029. Now this is a coat like poncho pattern. Um, it seems to be fairly straightforward. It doesn't look like it has any fastenings at all. But I just think this pattern is so chic, so sophisticated. It is perfect for autumn and those colder summer evenings. Um, like I said, it doesn't look to seem like it has any fastenings, just a belt around the middle. Um, this pattern is for woven fabrics and would look amazing in a boiled wool or a tartan. Um, it's very, very on trend, um, all those plaid kind of fabrics, especially for autumn. They keep coming back round and round again. Um, so I think that if you made something like this up, you would keep grabbing it throughout the seasons as well as you transitioned more to the winter period. The great thing about a poncho is that it seems to be quite roomy, meaning that you can add your layers underneath and build it up. You're seeing a lot of this style coming through in like the designer kind of outlets as well. I know places like Burberry um, have got a version very similar. You can never go wrong with those earthy toned sort of boiled wool fabrics, things like rust and the beige and the camel colours. I feel like they're colours that always come back every autumn. Um, so if you made up a version in one of those colours, you would keep going back to it season after season. So the one that I particularly love is this version here by Thread Headed Stepchild on Instagram. She has made a beautiful navy striped version and it's sort of in this like striped plaid. You can see her here at a pumpkin patch. It just is like the epitome of autumn, isn't it? And I think she looks really cozy as well. I would love to make just a simple black version, but I've noticed that the, um, collar part at the front is like a separate piece so I really think you could play around with contrasting two different types of fabrics as well even maybe putting like a faux fur or a faux leather collar on top would really make the pattern interesting as well so a super easy one to add to your pattern stash so that is my first top pick now, second on my list is the McCall's 8180. Now, this one is a blousy shirt type pattern. It has a sleeve with a collar at the top. You can see the collar is really, really oversized and that is extremely on trend this season. I've seen it in lots of the high street shops, even places like Sainsbury and Tesco are bringing out their own versions in their clothing range. You can play with like a ditzy floral pattern or you could um, use different colour combinations for the collar and the shirt. Um, some of you may recognise this pattern. I believe it's very similar to the 
Make a Lou Blouse by Nina Lee, which is a very popular pattern. So if you like that pattern and you want to try it, now is a really good time, because like I said, these McCall's patterns are currently in the sale. Um, so each pattern is around five pounds, so it is a lot cheaper to buy them right now. Um, but like I said, it is a really on-trend um, design. You can see it's got lots of different um, sleeve options, making the uh, pattern really, really versatile. Obviously, you could also make it for the summer as well. What I really love about this pattern is rather than having the elasticated casing on the sleeves, it actually has cuffs, meaning that it has sort of like a formal shirt kind of feel to it. It also has a button placket going down the front. Um, I think this is really great to push those skills a little bit into shirt making. If it's something that you haven't done at the moment, um, those are really key skills to have. Um, and I like that it has that on that pattern as well. So my favourite version of this is by Naughty Gnome over on Instagram. She made this in a white dobby rayon fabric, so it's got a little bit of texture to it. And then that black contrasting collar as well, I think works really, really well. This has kind of like a Chanel feel to it. It looks very sophisticated. And again, you could play around with these colour combinations till the cows come home. I just think it is a great pattern for the autumn. Um, pair it with a nice pair of boots and some jeans and you're good to go. So number three on my pattern is the McCall's 7908. So this is a jumpsuit all-in-one pattern. It is a beautiful fitted design. As you can see on the pattern print here, it has a variety of different um, sleeve lengths and it also has a variety of different leg lengths as well, meaning that those options are endless in how you style it. It also has an optional collar. Um, this is great for autumn because I feel like it could be made really formally for the office, but also it could be made in a really comfortable, loose fabric as well. You can see that it has princess seams, so it gives a really fitted look around the bodice. Um, and it also has a variety of different pocket placements as well, so you can play around with it. It has like a utility type feel, which again is really, really trendy right now. But what I absolutely love about this is that you can get a really beautiful snug fit. So I would describe this pattern as an intermediate. So if you haven't really done an all-in-one before, or if you haven't had experience of making trousers before, um, I would say that this probably isn't the best one to start with. Try making those two things separately and then head to this pattern because they do combine the top and the trouser together. So there are a few fitting um, adjustments that you might need to make in order for you to have a comfortable fit. So that's why I describe this pattern as an intermediate. But what I think is great is that it is good for layering. If you look at this version here made by Kingdom Daughter Makes, she's made a sleeveless version, which you might think isn't great for the autumn, but in this beautiful suiting beige fabric, you can, she's paired it with a blouse underneath, um, which I just think looks really, really super sophisticated for the autumn time. Like I said, it's all about layering in these kind of seasons. And I just think she's done a really fab job. A lot of the other versions that I saw online were made of denim, which I think is also really great choice because it leads to a very hard wearing and versatile make. So number four on this list is the McCall's 8210. Now, thus far, I haven't managed to find very many pictures of this pattern online, um, but you can see here that it is a shacket type pattern. Now, if you've followed my channel for a while, you know that I absolutely love a shacket, um, and I think this is a trend that is going absolutely nowhere. It's only getting bigger, and it's in all the shops right now. You can make this in a variety of different fabrics. You've got a boiled wool, you could use a corduroy, a heavyweight denim or a tartan. I also really like those teddy bear fabrics as well that have got a slight fluff to them. Um, it's a really stylish type jacket and it's an oversized kind of fit. So it's really good for having a cozy jumper on underneath. It's quite roomy inside. Now, the interesting thing about this pattern is that it has a beautiful back pleat as well, which means you've got plenty of room for movement. 
Um, so if you are wearing lots of layers underneath, you can still move your arms forward. So it has got that classic shirt pleat at the back. I think this will look so cute if you're all bundled up in a scarf drinking a hot chocolate around a pumpkin patch. I think it just screams autumn winter and I absolutely love it. Um, I personally can't wait to make it myself, my version's in the post. Um, so the version that I love of this was actually made by Anna's Knittery. Now you can see her pictured here on the beach, she's using it as a beach cover up and I feel like she's made it out of a really lightweight cotton. Um, so that's just an example to show that you how these autumn winter trends can actually carry you through into the summer as well. So next up is the McCall's 8147. So this one is a, another blouse pattern. Um, it has a classic pussy bow front tie. The model on the front here has used a silk fabric, which I think is so luxurious for the autumn winter months. How wonderful would this look going to a Christmas party? Again, some nice classic fitted boots and jeans and you can always dress this up or dress this down as well. This pattern again comes with a variety of different sleeve options and a different collar option for you. There's also version A that has this beautiful like ruffling along the um, sleeve area which is a really couture look. I've seen this a lot on runways by Dior and things like that. Um, and I just think that that is kind of like a timeless sort of style. So this version that I absolutely love is by Mad Sewing Scientist. She's made it in a blue silk. And this is the image of the back of the blouse. And as you can see here, which is a detail that you can't see on the pattern packet, the back detail has a loophole opening at the back. And the pussy bow front tie actually has like a reverse collar effect on the back, which makes it a really, really unique detail on that blouse. And I think it really makes the design. And it's a shame that you can't see that on the front of the packet because I think it's absolutely beautiful. So that is my top five picks for the McCall's pattern autumn winter season. Like I said, there's lots available online for you. They're all on sale at the moment on Minerva. They're just linked down below. There's plenty of you to choose from, but they are my top five favorites. I'll let you know how I get on making these at home and I'd love to see your versions as well. So do leave a comment on the box down below. If you've liked this video, do give it a little thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing what more of my favorite patterns I have, do click the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure seeing you. I'm off to do some sewing. Take care.